So hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to this talk entitled Geospatial Open Data for Everyone from Global to Local. So I'm Nicolas from the MapPilot team, and I'm very glad today to present our work at Phos4G. I, I first want to thank the Bucharest team for such a great organization and program. So we all know that nowadays, uh, Open geospatial data is everywhere. <coughs> so we can easily find a vector and raster data set all around. So this is the real new material uh, GIS expert or phosphate expert can build upon. But it often c comes uh, in different flavors, many different formats, uh, sometimes in different amounts of and volumes. So that makes it difficult to reuse uh, in, a, in a simple way. So this is what we do. Uh, we harmonize and serve open geospatial data uh, from global and local sources. So I will try to demonstrate that today. So I, I, I'll start with a short introduction and we'll then dive into the map tiler infrastructure and maps. I will especially talk about vector tiles, which are at the core of our platform. And uh, the second part of, of the talk will focus on map tiler satellite. <coughs> so I, I will give details about this particular map and uh, especially the, about the latest updates. So we are the map tiler team. Uh, most of the team members are in this picture. We are, in fact, 20 people uh, behind MapTiler, uh, uh, 12 engineers and eight uh, marketing and salesperson. Um, the company behind is called Clockan Technologies, uh, headquartered in Switzerland, but with staff across Europe, uh, Czech Republic, Switzerland, and France. So our core product is MapTiler, that I will especially talk about today. For your information, we are also powering Open Map Tiles, uh, which is a open source project uh, allowing to uh, create and serve uh, a world vector map, uh, let's say within 15 minutes. So it's a very easy way to get up and running. We are also maintaining allmapsonline.org, which is uh, about uh, georeferencing and sharing uh, old cartography assets online. So you can get more information on, on these URLs, of course. So MapTiler is all about building your own maps. It is, in fact, a family of software uh, created for designing, producing, hosting, and sharing maps for the web. So from MapPilot desktop to cloud, uh, from server to cluster, or even mobile, all these tools work together and are able to produce and consume display vector tiles and raster tiles. So today, as I said in uh, the introduction, I will especially focus on MapTiler Cloud, which is at the core of, of the software family and our flagship product. It is based on a high availability uh, cloud infrastructure for hosting and sharing maps. So all our maps are built from open data, open geospatial data. And the whole platform is powered uh, on top of open source software, uh, such as GDAL, Proj, and, and, and others. So that infrastructure is powerful and global. So <coughs> the map tiles are uh, lying a powerful CDN. And we have um, hundred, more than 170 uh, points of presence. So that guarantees that the maps are always fast, uh, almost everywhere on the, on the planet. And uh, we are glad to say that uh, today, uh, 50 million 
users' amounts rely on AppDirect Cloud, generating almost 5 billion request amounts. So, uh, and all this scales and runs pretty smoothly. So, notably thanks to the hard work of our sysadmins and engineers. <coughs> so, I guess you already understood the, the concept. We are on the mission to make open geospatial data easily reusable re by everyone. So we are bringing uh, the best of OpenStreetMap, but also open imagery to MapTire Cloud. So we prepare, we prepare it, we gather it, we are adding value to it and share it with everyone. So then you are very free to use these maps on your preferred uh, web mapping client, such as open layers, leaflet, mapbox, glgs, probably others. All these data you can even uh, self-host, so <coughs> you, are, you can quite easily um, get the data on premises or on your infrastructure even asking, requesting uh, custom extract or custom styles over things. Um, so there is, uh, uh, this to say that there is a, a lot of freedom in, uh, in, the world, in the world concept. So let us start with MapTiler Street, which is available on MapTiler Cloud by, by default. So this is a global uh, street map based on the OpenStreetMap planet that we are updating weekly uh, and that we are rendering using our very own OpenMap Tile Cartographic Schema. So this map is available in more than 60 languages now, uh, thanks to the uh, data attributes from OSM, all the languages, and this makes uh, possible to, for the users to uh, make very local maps using the local languages um, worldwide. So, of course, uh, using Map Title Cloud, you can very easily customize this Map Title Street Map um, with a basic tool that we call Customize and that lets a uh, known cartographer. Uh, modify the map very simply, so you can change every color, font, symbols, languages, and other things. And this at every scale, so from global to regional to local. So for example, here we could easily change the land cover colors over Romania, but also uh, change the default icons uh, or uh, give more details about, for example, the building where we are now. Um, this is made to be quick and easy. <coughs> the same base map based on uh, OpenStreetMap uh, is declined in several styles uh, in MapTile Cloud. So for example, here you can see the pastel style, which was designed uh, to let the user overlay uh, his own JS data so it can easily shine, shine on the on top of the very pale and pastel maps. Uh, so you can also use this style, for example, uh, to start a new cartography project. Another example is the MapTiler topographic map. So still using the same data, the same data sorry, but uh, we are also proposing additional uh, tiles and additional data, uh, for example, to bring ill shades contour lines, uh, natural elements, and, and other stuff. Um, so this is the same principle. You can modify everything and adapt it to your need. So there are several styles available by, by default on which you can build, and that really speed up the, the process. So uh, you understood that we clearly provide the data so you can uh, save time and resource uh, to focus on your project and functionalities. For those with more advanced cartographic needs, 
Um, <clears throat> there is also the advanced style editor available, um, based on Maputnik, for those who already knows, where you can change everything uh, in, more, in more details. In the goal of uh, adding even more value uh, to our maps at a local scale, we, are, we have started to bring also local, local data sets and national or regional data sets available uh, as vector tile or vector tile set uh, on MapTile Cloud. So we started with a ZoomStack vector tile uh, provided by Ordnance Survey since uh, a few months. They are already available. So that gives a new opportunity uh, for the users in the UK to use the national and legal data and to, to build on this. We are also, uh, so sorry, the, the, the four default styles provided by Ordnance Survey are of course available, so you can quickly uh, start. We are experimenting uh, in the same ID with the French open data are progressively released by the, the National Geographic Institute, IGN. So this is a simple example using the French cadaster data uh, that we are able to transform as a vector tile and uh, make available on, on cloud. In the same principle, we are also investigating local projection, so we are now able to run the vector tiles not only in Web Mercator but also in WGS84 or in the case of France where I come from, Lambert 93 uh, or uh, uh, the, the Swiss local projection too so you can see a real example at that URL you can see on the screen and by the way I'm taking advantage of this projection uh, to recall that the map pilot team is also behind the EPSG EO project that you probably already know. So that makes a lot of sense for us to work also with local projections. Let us continue with map pilot satellite, uh, which is also available on map pilot cloud. So this is a global satellite map uh, based on uh, Sentinel-2 images that are the work over at 10 meter resolutions. So we provide a, a cloudless mosaic from 2018 uh, and rich and uh, we, we are adding value to it using our own co uh, color turning, pan sharpening and tiling algorithms. So it looks very beautiful and uh, easy to use. So by the way, this work was rewrite, rewrite it, sorry last year uh, by the Copernicus Masters. So we, we, we were the winner of the Airbus Multidata Challenge and we are very glad to collaborate with them since then. So since a few weeks, we released the whole United States in higher resolution, in high resolution using auto imagery from USGS, but also USDA. So this is basically one meter resolution but also up to eight centimeters in resolution in selected cities. So that gives a much better experience for the users uh, so they can zoom much more in the map tiler satellite. So for example, you can see a screenshot from Washington DC at eight centimeter. You can, all this you can view online uh, visiting maptiler.com of course. We are now rolling out a major update also over Europe, uh, pr uh, bringing mid-resolution imagery uh, from Airbus. So we are integrating spot maps uh, at 1.5 and 2.5 uh, meter resolution, country by country. It is now happening and same thing, it will allow European users to uh, zoom a, a lot more and use the map for, for every needs. So for example, uh, you can see here Romania at 2.5 meter. <coughs> we are also gradually adding uh, high resolution imagery uh, uh, from around 20 centimeters resolution up to seven centimeters in selected cities. 
So Finland, Denmark, Netherlands, Luxembourg are already available. Belgium, France are in the pipelines and others. Country uh, will come soon. Uh, this RR imagery is seamlessly, seamlessly integrated, so you, you can't even notice sometimes that you are zooming from Sentinel to um, spot maps to I, uh, imageries, RR imagery. So thanks to color toning. So for example, Amsterdam at 25 centimeter, Copenhagen at 12.5 centimeter. So <coughs> All the maps, whether it be open from OpenStreetMap, OpenMap tiles, or map tile satellites, are available uh, in your Google Cloud account. So you can easily, again, use them to start your, your mapping project and then publish them and use them publicly or privately. You can also, of course, add your own data to your map tile cloud account. So you would typically create vector tiles or raster tiles uh, using map tile desktop and then upload to your cloud and then share it with your users. <coughs> so once the map is published, uh, you can reuse the map in different ways, different ways. Of course, vector tiles uh, <coughs> compatible with open layers leaflet map box. We are uh, especially keen on the, the progress of open layers uh, with the improved support of vector tiles. But you are really free to use any of them. Uh, of course, standard, let's say standard raster tile, X, X, Y, Z. Uh, but also, you can reuse the same map as WMTS. So that brings the map tiler maps to desktop clients such as QGIS, but even ArcGIS, that works pretty well. And we also propose a static maps API that lets you reuse the map uh, for print work, high resolution print, but also for, for example, generating simple map thumbnails or things like that. We say it is for everyone because all this you can get for free, up to 100,000 requests a month for a non-commercial use. Uh, for those who have uh, 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 professional needs and uh, uh, for those uh, looking for high SLAs or custom support, things like that, we of course have a paid plan. Um, so these, these are example companies uh, using our service. Um, <coughs> and by the way, uh, we have a special offer for Force4G. So if you subscribe to our, one of our flex or unlimited plans using the first project coupon, the first month uh, will be on us. So please uh, head to cloudmaptile.com and uh, get more information if you, if you like. Uh, I'm open to any of your questions. And I, I thank you very much for your listening. Thank you. shading like in the Swiss maps how does that work exactly like the, the hill shading like is that generated or can you style it or? yes we <coughs> we pre-generate it uh, from SRTM and over uh, open DENs so it is provided as a standard uh, typeset like the other the other ones and yes, you can uh, modify the, the default hill shades uh, um, properties, but uh, we also provide it as a layer that we call terrain uh, RGB. So that gives you more capabilities to even change the terrain color and things like that. So. you could combine it with other layers and play with transparency or any other settings. But yes, it is uh, provided to work with other layers, of course. Any other question? Yes? Uh, OK, uh, two questions, actually. 
Uh, how long time did it uh, take you to create the world Mosaic Cloudless? And uh, how often do you, um, uh, will you update the data? Like, is it once a year you're thinking, or? So, it is difficult to say how much time it took to create it. It was step by step. Yeah. Uh, it is online uh, since uh, a year and a half, or almost two years now. Uh, we just updated uh, with imagery from 2018. Before that, it was using imagery from 2016. So yes, there will be regular updates. But now uh, we are really focusing on the higher resolutions uh, because this is what people need uh, to use Baptile satellite, for example, as a serious alternative to Google Maps or things like that. Yeah. They need to zoom, so we need to provide the, the aerial imagery first. But yeah. yeah, there will be some updates. Thank you, Nicola. I was wondering about the infrastructure. Like, do you use some um, very well-known cloud provider for hosting all this? How does that work? Yes, uh, we are rely on a, a big European hosting provider, a French one, I, you guess, I think. Uh, yes. And yes, we, <coughs> we regularly uh, maintain it, improve it, invest into it to make it run and scale because more users are coming every day. And once again, uh, our sysadmins are taking good care of it, so there are very few problems. Then you can check the status, map filer. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Eric. Any other questions? We still have time, do not hesitate. Even hard questions. Okay, so thank you again. And uh, please do not hesitate to talk to us. So you can see our pilot t-shirts like this one in the conference. You can freely talk to our, to our team. Thank you.